I don't want to crawl across your killing floor. Hello, this is Chris speaking, Shores of Infinity, with another video about spiritual enlightenment and awakening. But why is it called, I don't want to crawl across your killing floor? Well, the idea for the video came to me when I stumbled upon a video, upon a song by Glenn Danzig called I don't want to crawl across your killing floor. You may like or dislike his music, but the dude is awake. Old style rock and roll. And the song more or less goes like this. Seen a lot of bad. Seen a lot of cold. Seen a lot of starving. Seen a lot of old. Seen a lot of death in my life. All I ever wanted was a free soul. I don't wanna crawl across your killing floor. Okay, but what does this have to do with spirituality and enlightenment? Well, you might know these moments when you've just about had enough. All this suffering, all this death, all this war, all these lies, all this hardship is just sad and annoying and tiring. And you might even think, what the heck am I doing here with these Neanderthals, with these brutes? Actually, I'm feeling like a stranger in a strange land. I'm feeling like I'm not from here, like I'm from another world which is incidentally something that Jesus is supposed to have said, I'm not of this world. Also, there's another Danzig song about this, not of this world, but with another type of lyrics. Well, let us assume that you're not of this world, that you're just a visitor. You're an alien, let's say, and you're a visitor, visiting planet Earth. An adventurous holiday trip to an to a rather uncivilized planet. If you were this cosmic tourist, what would this change in your life, in your day-to-day -day life? Well, you probably would be much more relaxed and much less identified. Much of the stuff that is happening you would perceive as interesting strange maybe but interesting curious well that's how they do it here hmm weird funny different interesting amusing sometimes even a little annoying like a good culture shock is but you wouldn't take things too seriously. It's just when in Rome, do as the Romans do. You observe, but you don't really play the games that you don't understand very well anyway. Different customs, different habits. And if you're not identified, it's not everything about life and death. It's very liberating. And interesting. Instead of evaluating and judging all the time and putting everything in categories of right and wrong, good and bad, survival or danger, you just enjoy visiting this really strange, weird, backwards planet with their, let's say, aggressive culture and society. But since you are a visitor from another planet, you're not really bound by their rules and laws. To some degree, because visitors, tourists, they also have to adhere to some rules, but otherwise, um, you know, your stay here is limited. At some point you're going home and then you can 
tell a good story to your friends about these strange people. Yes, it was a little scary at times, you will tell your friends. But was it worth it? Yes, it was worth a trip, a visit. Intense, but fascinating. So have a look in your life where you take things very seriously, where you think, where you're convinced that you have to do things this or that way, or you cannot do it another way. You're stuck here. You don't have a choice. And these convictions are never true. You always have a choice. You don't have to do anything. And you can do whatever the bloody heck you want. If you don't buy into the mass illusion, if a cultural anthropology scientist or a tourist stays in a country for too long, there is the danger of starting in believing in the belief sets of the culture he or she is visiting or researching. You're going native. You become like the people who you are visiting or observing or researching. And subscribe to their restrictions, to their laws, to their customs, to their fears, to their hopes, to their beliefs. And if you do that, then you are bound by do's and don'ts and must-nots and have-to's and so on. But only then. And only because of that. Actually, you're not bound by anything. You can do whatever you want. For example, listen to your intuition and follow that. Instead of your fears and hopes. Or other people's fears and hopes, which is even worse. But even more common. So you have a choice here. You can experience life on this planet as crawling across God's killing floor, or you can experience freedom by unsubscribing from all these cultural belief sets and rules and norms and values. Yeah, unsubscribe from all this stuff. If you want to subscribe to something, subscribe to this channel. Or join me on Patreon. If you like this video, give it a rating and see you soon. Bye.